All right, fam. So Walmart is making a change. Now, this is not a new change. They did this before. So they're saying that this was something that was a positive outcome. And they kind of want to go back to it. And they want to make this a permanent change. So check out what they're doing. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. Hopefully, you all can check in. Let us know how you are doing and where you are watching from. Of course, I'm tuning in from New Jersey. All right, y'all. So, what Walmart doing, Um, so they're changing up how the store is ran in the morning and putting things in place. For sensory, people with sensory issues, so parents who have children who have sensory issues, um, and maybe even yourself. The shopping experience should be much calmer, at least they're hoping. So Walmart is making a change to its morning shopping hours, y'all. So starting November 10th. Is that, in, that's in a few days, y'all. Oh, snap, that's today. All right. So starting today, November 10th, the nation's largest retailer is bringing back sensory friendly hours every day from 8 to 10 local time at all stores across the country, which is something great, especially we know if you ever travel with a child who have sensory issues you guys know how it is. Um, you know, they have issues with certain noises, maybe the lightning. Um, it, it's a, bu a bunch of different things that can cause a sensory uh, problematic child to really get frustrated. Um, so they're going to make certain changes um, and we're going to talk about that. So early in the year, they took a step in making shopping in the stores more inclusive for those with sensory disabilities by taking measures to create a less stimulating environment for a couple of hours each Saturday. So Walmart, what they're doing, um, they're saying that they're going to go ahead and make the sensory friendly shopping a permanent thing. Um, this happened back in July, just for a small amount of time, while a lot of parents had to get the back to school shopping done. And like I said, they said it was a positive outcome. So this is something that they want to go ahead and put in place. And I get it because if you're a parent of multiples in general, sometimes you kind of avoid going shopping because it can be a lot. It can be a lot. Now, if you're a parent of children who have a sensory disability, it can be a lot more. Um, I parent in all different ways. Some of my children have certain issues, um, and some of my children just naturally just wild and loud. <laughs> so, you know, we get into the stores and I know how it is, and this can help for some parents. Um, while some people might say, well, whatever, what difference does that make? Um, but if you are parents who have, you know, children with sensory disabilities, then I'm sure that you'll understand. So during those certain hours, what they're going to do, they're going to go ahead and, um, like dim the lights. Um, the TVs are changed to, you know, a static image, um, the radios are turned off and like it says here, the lightning is lowered. So, I mean, like certain little things like that help, believe it or not, certain noises, especially with like autistic children, um, certain noises really mess with their ears. So, you know, certain things like that really helps and it makes the shopping experience much more easier. So why not, you know, gather those family and be like, hey, it's okay for you to come, you know, and shop and you don't have to worry about that noise coming from the TV and or radio, um, you know, and bothering your child. It, we're going to make your shopping experience much more easier. 
And of course, like I said, Walmart is out here. They tackling people, grabbing, not tackling like in a bad way, but they're tackling down on trying to get more shoppers to come. We did a poll recently and I was asking, um, you know, who's taking over? Is it Walmart or is it Amazon? Walmart is putting in place a lot of different things to try to keep shoppers coming back. And Walmart was listening too. Walmart was listening over the complaints of the shelf of the self checkout. So, in another article, I did mention, um, you know, Walmart. They invested, I think, nine billion dollars into changing up their stores. And one of the changes that they they are making is bringing in more cashiers back. They are expanding their self checkout, but yet they are bringing in more cashiers so it wouldn't be you know such a hassle to choose between self-checkout which is flowing you know much faster than the regular lanes you can go to either one it's your choice because they're going to have enough cashiers and enough self-checkout so you don't even have to worry about standing in no long line regardless this is what they're saying so when it comes down to the whole takeover you know of you know these big businesses I think Walmart is really putting their foot in place and standing ground to trying to be. Actually, I think there already is one of the top big box stores out here right now, if I'm not mistaken. They are one of the top retailers out here. Yeah, I don't don't think I'm wrong on that one. And if I am, of course, you guys are always welcome to correct me if I am wrong. Um, So Walmart is definitely putting things in place to make your shopping experience much more easier. Um, Don't get me wrong, though. Don't get me wrong. You cannot control, of course, the noise and if people bring the drama and stuff into the store. This is the real world. Um, But they are doing their part, you know, turning down or off the radios dimming the lights, you know, but you have to be there between the hours of 8 and 10. Those are the sensory friendly hours. There we go, the nation's largest retailer. Yes, they are. Um so that's that that's pretty good. I think I think that's a good thing, y'all, and to make the shopping experience easy. You see one kid here in the back of the cart, you know, holding his ears. So You know what? Let's see what happens. Let us know if this is something that you're actually looking forward to. And if you do have a sensory friendly child, let us know how your shopping experience been lately in the stores. Especially, you know, we're approaching holiday season, technically holiday season. We know them stores be loud. They be playing the music super loud, trying to get you to stay shopping. Um, You know. It's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. And trust me, I'm one who definitely knows. All right, so Walmart did share on their actual website. We're excited to share that we are bringing back sensory-friendly hours from 8 to 10 local time. But it's not only on Saturdays, y'all, because before it was only on Saturdays. But this is every single day at all Walmarts and Puerto Rico. Um, so this started November 10th, which was yesterday, with no plan to end this. So during these hours, we hope our customers and associates will find a store to be a little easier on the eyes and ears. These changes are thanks to those who shared their feedback on how their stores could help them feel like they belong. So one of the customers did share, as the mother of a child with autism, Thank you very much for recognizing needs and being sensitive to them. Little things such as lightning, noise, etc. does make a difference. And I can't agree more. Let us know in the comments how do you guys feel about this change. Until next time, this is Shauna and I'm officially checking out from Moments With Us. Make sure you all stay prepped, blessed, and safe. 
most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings. Until next time, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And of course, if you are returning, thank you for coming back.